Ye and Ty Dolla Sign have released two of three promised collaborative projects, Vultures 1 and 2, which have seen mixed reviews from the online community and not much love from critics. I've personally enjoyed the music we've gotten so far, but it's been a long and complicated road to this point, a journey that seemed impossible just two years ago. So join me as I take you through the messy, chaotic, yet kind of beautiful rollout of Vultures 1 and 2. We are all well aware of the incident that took place on December 1st, 2022, so there's really no need to review. But what you may also remember is the extreme backlash Kanye received for his anti-Semitic remarks, and rightfully so. It seemed at the time that the public may never hear from Ye again as he retreated to Japan, the same place he went after the 2009 VMA Awards incident. The last piece of actual music Kanye released before he went into hiding was Someday We'll All Be Free, a song discussing his personal struggles at the time and used a beautiful Donny Hathaway sample by the same name. Someday we'll all be free. Waking up till I get through the city on text. And the Bible said I can't have any more sex till marriage. That would be the last musical update we got from Kanye himself for about a year. We did get concussion though. No, I'm not going. It wouldn't be until September 2023 when Kanye would sort of come out of hiding to give fans a preview of new music. During the Electric Picnic Festival, Kanye was seen linking up with Steve Lacey and previewed a snippet of what would eventually evolve into Problematic from Vultures 1. The first whispers of a potential album with Ty Dolla Sign surfaced in late September when TMZ reported that Kanye was working on his own project and that it was possible the two of them could release their own project together. Then all of a sudden, it came together all at once. A collab album titled Yen Dolla was coming, a multi-stadium listening event posted by Ty, which never actually happened, and we got the first snippet of the Vultures era. This morning, just a moment in the morning, you'll be running back to me. In mid-December, fans would receive a snippet that kickstarted the first Vultures rollout, a song that all of you might know, but is still not released to this day. I said, Shoot up, yeah. In late November, the duo released the track Vultures featuring Lil Durk and Bump J, but in typical Kanye fashion, the man could not strive away from controversy as he addressed his 2022 incident in the most Kanye West way possible. I'm anti-Semitic, I just fucked a Jewish bitch. Then it all stuck together. Posted by Ty Dolla Sign on Instagram in early December, we got the first ever track list for Vultures. Despite the list being posted months ago, we still haven't received all the songs originally planned for Vultures. The album was set to come out December 15th, with a listening party in Miami. It went about as smoothly as you would expect. As someone who watched the entire Miami rave live on the Yeezy website, I took for granted how late this guy shows up to his own events. Kanye was an hour late, he didn't bring an aux cord, and the stream was lagging worse than when you need to clutch up in a 1v1. Hey, Pat, suck my dick! No fucking way! What are we doing?! Despite all the chaos, Kanye and Ty delivered, showcasing these 12 songs for the first time ever. Special guests who appeared on stage included Kodak Black, Offset, Lil Durk, Freddie Gibbs, and more. Like seasoned Kanye fans, I was expecting the album to get delayed at least once, and to the surprise of absolutely nobody, it did not release on time. But on the day it was supposed to release, the Vultures duo had another listening event, this time in Las Vegas. The duo would premiere six songs with five of them being new. Highlights included Gun To My Head and a very unfinished version of Carnival. This that Game of Thrones, to Hunger Games, to the Squid Game, to my real name, to my nickname. And after party would take place after the event, which was live streamed on various Instagram accounts, I don't remember all of them, more songs were played, Kanye and Kid Cudi reunited after two years of beef, and we got this beautiful moment of wisdom that should be taught in schools across the country. They motherfucking made the Twix double the size trying to make us fat. 
The final tracklist that we would actually see before the release of the album was seen during the making of the talking music video where Northwest could be seen wearing this shirt with this tracklist displaying these 18 songs. And in my opinion, this would have been the best version to release. I mean, just listen to this snippet of Love, Love, Love. It's absolutely amazing. Day by day I'm falling more in love with you And that's no lie On January 23rd, Ty Dolla Sign went to Instagram to post an announcement of three Vultures albums, all supposedly releasing within months of each other. Although most were skeptical, the momentum was building for Kanye's first release in three years. To absolutely no one's surprise, none of these release dates ended up being right, but we'll get to that in a bit. A third listening party was held in Chicago on the day the album was supposed to drop. The LP detailed 16 tracks, all that would make the final cut for the album. But the project would face yet another setback before release as the song Carnival featured an uncleared sample that Ozzy Osbourne demanded be removed due to Kanye's anti-Semitic remarks in 2022. So Kanye begrudgingly obliged, but instead of cutting the transition on Carnival, Ye instead sampled his own song, Hell of a Life, which ironically interpolated the same song as the original transition on Carnival. After another LP in New York the following day, there would be no more setbacks. In the early hours of February 10th, Vultures 1 would drop on Apple Music and Tidal, with the rest of the streaming world receiving the album hours later. Vultures 1 originally featured 16 tracks, with both the album and the song Carnival reaching number one on the Billboard charts. Despite finally being released, the album would face one more major setback as one of the more coveted songs, Good Don't Die, was seemingly removed from all streaming platforms just a few days after the album released. We would soon find out this was due to yet another uncleared sample Kanye used. Although Kanye changed the sample, it seemed to not be good enough for the Donna Summer estate. I'll let you guys be the judge. Dark of night, these thoughts of mine keep me up all night. In my opinion, this shouldn't have been an issue as the chorus and lyrics were changed, but the summer estate was not having it, as Good Don't Die will never return to DSPs and the song will likely remain unreleased forever. As chaotic and unhinged as the Vultures 1 rollout was, it would pale in comparison to the rocky and unpredictable road that was Vultures 2. So the album did not drop on March 8th to no one's surprise, but we did get a private listening party the next day, showcasing a new album cover featuring Ty's brother Big TC. We heard new songs, a couple old ones, and we got some insight on what the album would eventually look like. During a few listening parties for Vultures 1 after February 9th, Ye would play a few new songs meant to be on Volume 2, indicating to fans that the album was on the way. It wasn't. A lot of turnover happened during this time at Yeezy. People were fired, ideas were greenlit and scrapped. This definitely affected the progress and release of Vultures 2. Kanye actually revealed the new release date for Volume 2 accidentally due to an account we thought was Baby Keem, but was actually a fan page, so the new release date was May 3rd. During this time of turmoil, Ye went into the studio, put his mind, body, and soul into his work, and gave us one of the greatest tracks of the decade. Yo, Dad, I got you! Ryan Garcia, this is Ye, I'm on the Nitrous. According to leakers close to the situation, after the failed release of May 3rd, Vultures 2 would actually go through some thematic and production reworks, and Kanye even considered censoring the entire album. What proves this to be a fact is that a version of promotion dated in the middle of May leaked, and it has completely different lyrics that were clean. We making love to the morning. I just cast out, almost crashed out. I got a made by. 
I'm almost passed out, yeah. tryna get saved, yeah We making love, but we heartless She want ass shots, give her fair shots Back in the Maybach, yo ho get slayed, yeah Tryna get saved, yeah Fans were left wondering for months if the album would even end up releasing. They got a little glimpse of hope as a Vultures 2 listening party was announced in July and promoted by Ty on Instagram. If the album wasn't out by then, we would at least get a sneak peek at the contents meant for the project. It seemed that the hopes and prayers of Kanye fans around the globe were finally being answered as in late July, a message appeared on the Yeezy website proclaiming that Vultures 2 would be released August 2nd. Fans around the world rejoiced in excitement until the announcement was shortly removed hours later. But as soon as it was officially Jover, we were right back on top again. By 11pm the same day Volume 2 was supposed to come out, Slide was officially released on Yeezy.com and uploaded to streaming services an hour later. Then in the wee hours of August 3rd, the entire album just randomly released at 4 in the morning. And after all that, all the delays, all the waiting, the album was unfinished. Look, me personally, I enjoyed the project when it first came out. I still enjoy the project now, but it clearly had its issues which would need to be addressed. But I did love the vision we got on this album. Going over some of the surprises and notable changes the album received, 5.30, a Dawn to Two era song and a fan favorite was brought back from the dead, quite literally in the same state Kanye left it in two years ago. The second half of the track upon release was unfinished mumble, and there's a theory out there that Kanye just ripped the album version straight from a YouTube video and placed it on Vultures 2. Forever Rolling and River also received major production changes that fit with the new style of the project. City in the Sky, a Yandi era track was renamed Sky City and features artificial intelligence by the man himself. Do heaven got a penthouse that I can rent out? Look, I can appreciate the fan service that Kanye was doing here, especially with the deluxe that we'll get into, but the bare minimum is to finish your songs when you release them. Both these tracks and more on Vultures 2 would receive updates over the following week after release, which made them sound much better, but the unfinished product we got was the reason the reception for the project was more negative than positive. For such a legendary artist like Kanye, using artificial intelligence for your vocals is completely unacceptable. As Vultures 2 received what were basically daily patch notes, the first week projections predicted the project would sell just 68,000 units and debut at number 2 on the Billboard charts. But Kanye and his team decided to finally wake up and decided to drop deluxe versions of the album exclusive to Yeezy.com. These versions would include the tracks Gun To My Head, Believer, Drunk, and Take Off Your Dress, four highly anticipated songs that fans were waiting for since December. They also dropped Can You Be for some reason. So as of recording on September 1st, 2024, we've received some patch notes for the songs, we've gotten a little bit more, but we really aren't at a finished product yet. There's still artificial intelligence present on Sky City and on Field Trip, and 5.30 is still an unfinished mess during the second half of the song. Hopefully they don't forget about Vultures 2 and with a little bit of time we can finally see a finished product But that's basically where we're at during the present day. So thank you all for watching this video I greatly appreciate it. I know it's been about two years since I've uploaded a video, but stay tuned More is coming soon and have a great one Because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook Well, I'm not a crook Motherf Motherf